up guys, Baker here. Uh, transition tutorial, woo! Yeah, uh, I've been listening to you guys, don't worry. Um, I got three examples of this little spinning scope transition. A couple of you have uh, requested that, and here are three examples that I'll be showing you. So let's go ahead and click play for the first one. Here we go, there we go. Boom. Boom! So what we got here is it's uh, just rolling in pretty simple and then and then second example is where it spins from the bottom kind of like a coin flipping on a table you know and last one just kind of you know random parts flying in and uh, yeah cool stuff all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and straight into it. So you're gonna have a uh, a comp, right? So let's go ahead and make a new comp. And you're gonna have a clip, and you're gonna have another clip. Come on. All right. So uh, second clip, you're gonna want to find a spot uh, just before he shoots. So like, let me go for this triple headshot. I'm going to the last frame that the scope is up which would be right here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to layer, uh, time, enable time remapping. And then click a keyframe for that frame and delete the beginning keyframe. So what that does is basically just gets a still frame and then the video plays back. So we can easily just trim this however long we want. So I'll just scoot this over and uh, just zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> All right, first thing we're gonna do is uh, set the resolution to full and mask out the circle. So with our layer selected, we'll go up and click and hold to get the ellipse tool. And then uh, click right in the middle of the scope and start dragging. Now we get a, a mask over here, so we're going to hold shift to get a perfect circle. Hold command, or in this case that would be control for PC. And that gets a circle wherever you clicked in the center. So we'll just go like that. And there we go. We got a circle. So what we're going to do is going to the mask properties and uh, right when he hits or shoots where that keyframe is we'll set a keyframe for the expansion move forward about uh, three four five frames and expand that back out so we got yeah uh, set this back down to half really quick uh, we got the uh, scope by itself and then it just expands as he shoots okay so now we're gonna animate you know what happens to the scope so uh, I'll just trim this a little bit more. First one, we're going to have it roll. So go to uh, that first keyframe when he uh, shoots. Push R and hold Shift and push P. It gives that the uh, rotation and position keyframe both. And move backwards, I don't know, a second or so. And we're going to rotate this uh, clockwise. So let's rotate it two revolutions. So put a two in that first parameter and then just scoot it over with the position like so and then so we just get this you know rolling scope kinda like a ball rolling and uh, to make it a little bit nicer we can just enable motion blur and toggle switch motion blur and so we get a little blur as it's moving pretty cool so there's one example next example we're going to uh, undo these position and rotation so just back to normal and um, we're gonna make it a 3D layer. Boom! Okay, so keyframe position, and in this case, if we're gonna flip it, uh, like you saw in the example, this will be the Y rotation, so keyframe that. Again, move forward, well, backwards, really. And the Y rotation, we're gonna flip this around maybe four revolutions, so that, and then scoot down the Y parameter. Good. And then, so that just, you know, Goes flippy, 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 boom. Cool stuff. All right, so we'll delete these keyframes again. And I'll do the parts one now. This one's pretty cool. So this kind of only works because, you know, our uh, our footage is, uh, the scope is right in the center. So we're going to go ahead and search linear wipe and drag that on. Whoa. Laggy. Okay. Transition completion. We're going to set this to 50%. And what that does, if we solo it, it just cuts out, you know, half. So we're going to add another one on there and set this to 50. But we're going to change the angle 
to zero. And that gives us the top right, so kind of just you know cuts out stuff. And the easy way to remember this technique right now is um, this is the top left corner, so the angles are gonna be the right and the top, or top right corner. Why did I say left? You know what I mean. So anyways, we'll duplicate the layer and the effects. Now we want the bottom right, so we'll just change this angle to the bottom, 180. So now we got two parts, right? Top and bottom right. And then we'll duplicate it again, change this one to the bottom left side, so negative 90, 180. Duplicate it one more time, this will be the top left, so this angle needs to go up to zero. All right, so we, now we got four parts. So we can highlight all of them, push P for position, and we got a keyframe there already. If not, just go ahead and set a keyframe for all those. And uh, move backwards. Now deselect them. Actually, yeah, highlight all of them again. Yeah, And then, uh, oops, highlight all of them. In the Z parameter, we're going to set this to negative 2,000. So that puts it uh, backwards past the camera. So it'll fly in like so. And then we just offset the keyframes to make them come in at different times. So just kind of move these over whatnot. So what that looks like is this. That one comes in, this one, this one, this one. So kind of sequential, you can think of it like that. And then, of course, we can always just add a little bit of rotation, too. So push R, and we're going to keyframe the Z rotation and move backwards and just, you know, give it some random values, uh, positive and negative. Just, uh, you know, play around. I mean, you could get it precise to make them symmetrical or something, but I'm just going to have them kind of random, and they'll just kind of fly in, come together, and there you go. And uh, I'll just unsolo these and you get the original clip. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, more transitions coming up. Um, if you have any suggestions on uh, tutorials, uh, go ahead and check out my community montage. I really want to explain some stuff in there. So, pick out a few things and let me know. So, uh, there you go. Spinning scope transition. Leave a like, maybe a comment or something. Uh, have fun, you guys. Peace.